We built a full campus here at Blue Oak Ranch. We took the barn and modified it into now a kind of a, a group restroom, kitchen, classroom, really neat meeting space. We've added sort of tent facilities around here and screened cabins for people that come here during the warm season. We've got some seasonal cabins for both faculty and their research groups, kind of dormitory style with bunk beds. The vision that we had when we got Blue Oak Ranch was to build something that would really attract both the students and the classes that would want to learn, but also bring the researchers in and show them what the opportunity would be to work on a place that has been set aside, it's been left pristine, and now we're here we are, and we have the facilities to support both of those activities. When I first started here, the max number of people we could really have is like 15. And there was only one bathroom. There was one little room that had heat, so in the you know when it was cold, everyone's huddling in this one room. <laughs> so now you know there could be multiple field teams here using it at once really expands the, the type of research that can be done here and how many people can use the reserve. Having these reserve systems in California is so vital because we can really start to address a lot of these issues that we're concerned with, like biodiversity loss or climate change or what have you. You know, several thousand students have camped here. We had people that were builders, we had people that were architects, we had researchers, we had our campus representatives. I think it's very important to mark the occasion and have all of those people who contributed to the vision and to make it come together be here to share in this. This area is totally perfect for doing research. My former boyfriend, he proposed here on this lake and I said yes. Our family started here. <laughs> Having a facility like this Blue Oak Ranch is really going to lead to new opportunities for people to expand classes, to expand research. I really see the research activities and the education activities really just getting a real surge of, of new users and new people you know, to visit the reserve.